Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with us this afternoon. Live in the studio with us is a Mississippi born and raised. Were you born and raised here? I know you're from Starkville. You went yeah. to the MSU grad, Hale Absolutely. State. So Hale they State. say. <laughs> so it's so good to have you here today with us. Thanks, God. Good to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're here to talk about a new book, 40 Days. What yep. can you tell us about the book? Sixth volume of my Oakdale series, a suspense series that is set in North Mississippi, right here. Think uh, Ripley, Pontotoc, New Albany, around the Tupelo area. And it's a crime series. Lots of old money, lots of uh, crazy people, lots of folks all up in each other's business, lots of skeletons in folks' closets. Sounds like home, doesn't it? Oh, it sure, it sure does. And I know my grandmother, she loves suspense books and, and stories like that. So that is awesome. And you're kind of in town because this weekend, is it this weekend? Da, 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 da. Today. Maybe today. Today, yep. you guys, you're having a book signing. Absolutely. Here in the, the area. The Book Mart and Cafe, Main Street, Starkville. We'll tee it up about 3 o'clock this afternoon. 40 Days, briefly, is more of a faith-based mystery. And it takes place in 40 days of real time. And not only that, the chapters are in reverse, chapter 40, chapter 39, the last chapter is chapter 1, and then there's an epilogue. And in a nutshell, it's a story of redemption and forgiveness, a man who begins to see clues, numerical clues that only he can see. And as they build up, as the numbers drop, as we get closer in the countdown to the end, he realizes it's time to make some real changes in his life and that he might not live past the end of the countdown, mm -hmm. which is Easter. It ties into the season of Lent. And we're almost getting to Easter, yep. which is, is neat. Now tell me a little bit, because that, that's interesting to me, how it's written kind of backwards as it far is. as the chapter. So how, was that hard? Was that hard to do? Talk, talk to me a little bit about that process. It was to a degree, because the uh, protagonist is a guy who had a younger child later in life. He's got a six-year-old, even though he's right around 50 years of age. And I would write things like, a t-ball tournament that he was going to be part of or a soccer match and you go to a place with your kids or grandkids and there are 10 soccer games going on and 500 cars and I realized in one instance I'd put that on a Tuesday and that's going to take place on a Saturday so I gave myself some restraints where I had to go back and move chapters around and move some content but it was fun it was a challenge to do that and I think everything worked out okay it's a fast-paced story and there's a lot of suspense to it what do you think people, or what do you want people to get out of this book uh, if they read it? I know it's kind of a suspense book, so it's, I guess, more targeted towards people who kind of are into the, the suspense and the crime and kind of the thrill. The thrill to a part, degree, but, but, but also, Scott, there's a, a real faith-based element right. to it. And the protagonist, in the middle of the book, realizes he may not have much time left and that maybe he needs to go back and make, make some wrongs right. He needs to go back to some people that... Uh, he hurt in the past. He has a real need in his mind to do that. And that's what I want folks to take away. It's, it's never too late to make good and take care of people you may have hurt. That's awesome. And you're going to be at the book signing today at, from 3 to 5 at the Book Mart and Cafe in Starkville. Again, that's downtown Starkville. And it's free, folks. It uh, is. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm sure people will be excited to meet you there. Uh, the number there on your screen, 662-323-2844. Joe, thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure, we Scott. Really Good to be with you. It. All right. Coming up.